Oh, and there might not be a more um, <laughs> applicable song. We're still caught up in drama. We are still caught up in drama <laughs> this morning. It's uh, coming up on 8.15. Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. I wonder what that could be about. Oh, yeah. Mike from 105 on the Buzz joining us to talk about this because we are still not over it. Oh, gosh. I'm tired of looking at it. I know. It's, it's like, hard, every time to, I see it's hard it, I'm to watch. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, okay. So, Mike from 105 on the Buzz joining us this morning. Talking about the slap heard around the world. So, Mike, I have a question for you. We were just yeah. talking during the break um, about this because we've been talking about it with our friends at Entertainment Tonight. And mm -hmm. then Travis and I were talking, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to paint with, like, too broad of a brush here. But in general, I have seen um, more men than women in the conversation online this morning saying, I get it. I would stand up and defend my wife like this. Like, you can't you can't come from my family. Why? 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 Why that? I just, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm curious what your take on this is. Like, why the need to, to get up and, and slap someone and make it physical? I don't understand. Out of fear for the repercussions he was going to have when he got home. <laughs> I can relate to this very well. Like, my, my ex-wife, I, I, I mean, she really w was prideful and she stood for a lot of things. And then when she was, uh, if she was ever put into a situation like this, I, I could very much be the Will Smith of this situation. I don't know if on global television I would go up there and I would slap Chris Rock, but there would certainly be a conversation that had to be had between me and Chris Rock, probably off camera backstage. Yeah. It's exactly what I said, where it's, it's, you can make your point off camera, you know, on camera in that moment, show your disappointment. Or you can say your, something. Or make your point to the press. Go, right. to the, go to the journalists afterwards and everyone who wants to but, talk to you about the But night, he, he could have, if we're saying this is about defending uh, his wife's honor, he, he could have done that with, with his words, words and, yeah. and not... And, and, and not these actions that, that you're seeing again. Because now he looks like the jerk. You know, Chris Rock looked like the jerk making this really tasteless joke. And the context here, if, if people haven't heard about it, you know, is that Jada Pinkett Smith a few years ago uh, went out, went public about struggling with alopecia and hair loss. And that is why in recent years, you know, she's had this very short haircut or, or bald sometimes. And so that was why when Chris Rock made this G.I. Jane 2 joke, it didn't sit well with, with her and Will. Understandable. It, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't a good joke. Um, but, yeah. but, you know, the response there, it's, and clearly, I mean, he's so emotional after it just, it's like, oh man, you gotta, you gotta take a breath. And I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want someone standing up and fighting on my behalf. That just, to me, that's just gross. I don't like it. I let, let me handle my own stuff. And it, like, I don't know. I just feel like it's celebrities of the Oscars. When have they, when have they not been, um, you know, uh, nagged by a, a comedian. Yeah, you know? it's not, it's not the first insensitive, insensitive joke. It won't be the last. Yeah. You're very classy in your opinion and your take on this. Obviously, like if I slap somebody at work, I'm going to get fired. At the very least, they would take my trophy away. But if somebody <laughs> said something about my husband, Boo Bear, I can't promise you that I would maintain composure. Like I would right. try my very best. I, I understand but that. The thing is, is how did we not know that Chris Rock could take a hit like that, though? Because that's the main <laughs> reason. I was that... going to say, he had, he maintained composure. And you know, so he, the way he was able to regain composure and, and continue yeah. on. Um, yeah, I guess I, my, my thing on it is, is like, you can defend your wife and your family oh, and your yeah. pride. I, would have I just words. don't think you need to lay hands on anybody in yeah. order to do it in that situation. At least unless not on safety. camera. Yeah. What, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I just... I don't know. It was, yeah. it was an inter obviously. Well, um, and Liz, you mentioned like if if we slap someone at work, we're getting arrested or they're taking the trophy away. <laughs> right. He sat. He got to sit there for the rest of the award show, and not only that, then get up on stage and receive his Oscar. I just feel like if it had happened to anybody else, if any other person in there who wasn't a celebrity had rushed the stage, if you know, in any other scenario, if you're at work and you and you slap someone, it, what? I mean, you mm -hmm. don't just get to sit but. there like nothing happened. And, and how is there not security at the front of the stage? Yes. Like, if I go to a concert that's, like, not even anybody that's a big name, there is still security. Mm -hmm. How do you get at a point where Will Smith can just run right up those stairs? I will I say, mean, that, oh, go ahead, Mike. I, I was just going to say, that's Will Smith. Even if I was working security, he's probably one of the biggest names at the Oscars. Let's be honest. He was the biggest name who won an award last night. Right. Mm -hmm. If I was doing security at the front of that stage and he was walking up there, I would have thought it was either planted, like it was uh, set up or something like that. And right. I would just let him go. I right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Is like, you also, if you're, if you're directing or planning the Oscars, 
You, you probably don't have in your playbook. What do I do when Will Smith when, walks when up on stage and slaps the host? The like I, I, that's not in my in my. You know my that control room was out of control. <laughs> like, yeah. You know the Literally. academy behind the scenes. Probably their hair was on fire last night trying to figure out you know what to do for the rest of the show. But pretty crazy. Oh, it's just really it's, the whole situation is so disappointing. And I want I said this earlier. I want to say this again. Coda won Best Picture. It's an amazing film. <laughs> you know, Quest Love received the award that Chris Rock presented for his documentary. Uh, about the Summer of Soul. I mean, there were so many good movies that are getting overshadowed. So I just, I hope people take time to go and, and, and watch some of these films if they haven't yet, because it's just a bummer that this is the biggest takeaway. Yeah. But, I'd but also the... like to shout out our, our Ariana DeBose for winning yes. for Best Supporting Actress. We yes. actually went to college together. Oh, and no uh, way. I've had a... I've had a pending Facebook friend request with her for the last few years, so <laughs> fingers crossed today's the day she approves me. That's awesome. <laughs> you, will you please tweet it if you uh, if she does become Facebook friend? She with never you? will. She <laughs> never I will. Mean, yes, that, that, there were so many cool moments last night for her to win that Oscar for yeah. Anita and West Side Story with Rita Moreno in the audience. I mean, it's just... There were so many cool things, and yeah, just a bummer that well, they're not getting more attention. I, I, and I know we could talk about this quite literally the rest yeah. of the day. We don't have a ton of time left, but Tom Holland uh, and Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal all in some kind of weird challenge. What What is going on with this? <laughs> Yeah, Tom Holland challenged Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal to do this thing where it's an upside down push up, but you're kind of like in a handstand. And it's funny because Jake Gyllenhaal gave into peer pressure. He immediately did it. And it's like a shirtless thing. And then Ryan Reynolds just did like a reactionary video of him just going, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. That's probably so, wise. So then here's what we do. Who can do who can do this challenge better? Will Smith or Chris Rock? That's how we'll settle it. Oh, that's it. how you settle it? Okay. They can do their little I'll shirtless let, handstand. I'll let you tweet that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit this sure. one out on the sidelines, I think. <laughs> pretty sure Will Smith would win that one. But yeah, how great probably. was social media this weekend, oh my to be gosh. honest? Like, come on. One of those I mean, nights where Twitter really came through. Yes. I mean, these guys are all shirtless. <laughs> will Smith is slapping Chris Rock. I was loving it. You wild. were loving it. It, it, was, a it wild was a wild weekend. night on the interwebs, yeah. All right, <laughs> thanks, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye. And again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.